morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I've got an unboxing video for you. Um, probably throw a couple other things on this video as well. But this is first. Just got back from FedEx. And I've been waiting for this for weeks and weeks. Um, as some of you may know, Tim over at HBP bred just a pair of normals together and got a clutch and got I believe four babies out of it and three of them did not look like normals. The parents were definitely normals. I mean, I've seen the pictures, there's, there's nothing you can tell at least uh, evident in them, but three of them just looked very different. So he asked around, talked to some people, Anyway, he's calling the project Orange Blossom, and they look awesome, but I've never seen them in person. And we got a shipment from them. Very excited. Nicely packed. Not sure which is which. One is male and one is female. So we we got one that appears normal. Uh, if it were to be a recessive trait, if, it, if you know if the, this Dinker project works out and it were recessive, um, there's a chance that this female normal could be a carrier, a het. Yes, Gavin. Yeah, it's a snake bag. Yep. Looks great in here. This is this is again normal. Leave that for just a minute. I want to show you. Oh no no we gotta get it out Gavin. This is our new snakies. This I believe is the male. He also looks great. So Up of this, Liz. So I'm gonna pull out the normal now and put them side by side. You got it? Okay, be very gentle. So here's the normal female, here's the male. It's got just an orange color. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, the darks on the back seem about the same, but he almost looks like he's got some sort of pastel-like gene in him, but the parents weren't pastels, so we don't know what's going on. But we were thrilled to get into this and see um, if anything comes of it. I mean, you never know with these Dinker projects, but uh, when three of the four from their original clutch came out like this, one of them's even brighter. Uh, we figured there is no harm in uh, investing a little in a cool new Dinker project. I don't think we have any other Dinkers, do we? So uh, we are very excited to work with them. Um, the female that they kept is spectacular looking. Um, super excited to see uh, what comes of this. Anyways, so yeah, look them up on YouTube, uh, HBP. And uh, we will update you. I mean, it's going to take a while. There's still babies. We won't know anything for a while. And very, very well, we very well may breed these together and not get anything. That doesn't mean it hasn't proved out, especially if it's recessive. It's going to take a while to figure out if there's anything going on here. Um, I hope there is. It's a nice, bright color. Um, but yeah. Pattern looks, pattern looks a little bit uh, wacky, but nothing that necessarily means it's not normal pattern. It's just that color. I don't know how to describe it. Um, look at the sides. <laughs> look at the 
Look at this side right here. Look at the blushing on there. And the orange color, and then compare it to this. I hope, I hope the camera is picking this up, guys. Um, I'm really excited about this. And there's, there's white coming up from the belly as well. Um, a lot of it. More than I had even had seen in the pictures. Uh, it's almost lining the dark pattern with white halfway up the sides. It's just super interesting. I'm going to take a look at their bellies. So this is the potential dinker here, the male. And here's the female. And what genius is he calling it? Orange Blossom. Alright, we'll get them set up. They look nice and alert, full bodied. You want to hold them again? Alright, we'll have to come up with names for these guys. Thank you to Tim, he's been great to work with. Um, yeah, so definitely give him um, a look on here on YouTube and uh, we'll put a link in the description of this video as well. Do you want to hold them both? Okay, they're a little bit they're a little bit nervous, Gavin, so we gotta we gotta put them away soon in their little homes, okay? Alright. But yeah, there you go. I'll probably also give you an update later on today of some of the uh, 2017 holdbacks that are growing really nicely. But uh, for now, welcome to the orange blossom. All right, everyone, I've got them settled in now. Uh, it's a couple hours later. Uh, I'm just gonna take you through, I've been wanting to do this for a little while, take you through our 2017 holdbacks and just give a quick update on what they're looking like. Uh, I've got rats thawing here behind me so they can all smell it. Everyone's gonna be a little bit more feisty than normal, <laughs> but I don't think I'll bleed. So let's take a look here. First, Yep, we'll start right over mm, here. This girl, Daffodil, was from the first clutch we got. I think she's in shed right now. She's a 100% het ultramel. Not gonna mess with her because she's in shed. We actually kept two of those. We we're gonna keep more, but then we decided we didn't actually really need to. Here is our male lavender, Jonas. He's ready to eat. Beautiful. Hey, bud. No rats yet for you. Show you the female real quick. She's ready. Love these guys. So pretty. Here this is the only desert ghost we kept for ourselves. And we weren't planning on keeping any. This girl was so pretty, so perfect and clean and bright. We decided to keep her. Her name is Shiara. She also wants to eat. Try it down, little girl. I don't got anything for you yet. And down lower, we've got two Super Mojaves. Also ready to eat. Getting nice and big for us, growing really well. This one is Galadriel. It's all right. This one is Jadis. Love these things. Oh, 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 don't come at me, girl. Put your head down. If you notice, I, this is just a, cage, a feeding card. I will never, ever 
tap their noses down with anything that could hurt their teeth if they were to bite. They don't really bite, but if they were, I would hate it if they broke a tooth off on something metal like a snake hook. I use paper towel rolls or just their little cage card. This is Mystique. She is our Mystic Potion that we held on to. We got a bunch of these and only kept one, and I'm now kind of wishing we'd kept more. A little bit fuzzy uh, on the camera here, but she is just gorgeous. Don't worry, girl, you'll get fed soon. This is Dobby. He was along the same deal as Shiara right below him. We weren't intending to keep a mystic, certainly not a male, but he just was so beautiful. Had to keep him. Had to. I love this guy. Awesome colors. Awesome blushing. Awesome dark, perfect blacks on the back. Clean, clean, clean. Just, oh, this guy's stunning. So glad we kept him. I was so torn because I still don't know what we're going to do with him, but find something for him. So there you go. Uh, in a couple of weeks, maybe a month, I'll pull them all out one by one, show them to you in more detail. But uh, today is feeding day, and I just don't like messing with my snakes too much on feeding day. Uh, ball pythons especially are so modal. They get in feeding mode, breeding mode. Uh, they just they seem to really zone in on their feeding, <laughs> and I want them to stay that way so that they all eat. So I don't want to pull them out and mess with them, uh, but I'll do that soon. We've got some gorgeous holdbacks, and uh, hopefully in the next couple days we'll get another clutch of eggs. We're starting to see some females showing great signs, so we're getting into that exciting season. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we're going to enjoy our new orange blossom project see uh, how they eat for us and everything once they're settled in and we'll keep you updated we're extremely excited to be working with them and we hope to see you all down in the comments or any other social media and until next time we're the reptile barn <laughs>